crowbar. In my hand, thank you. So by now you might know that we put a lot of things on our car. Kayaks, stand-up paddle boards, bicycles. Well, that's the problem is the bicycle. Well, here's what happened. Yesterday, on our trip home, we stopped by the Nanahill Outdoor Center for some stand-up paddle boards. We put stand-up paddle boards on the car. Now, I don't know about you, but when I'm driving down the road and I know there's something on the roof, I'm always looking up. The whole time that we were driving from Washington, D.C., back to Ducktown, I kept looking up to check for the bicycle. You're dumping stuff on me. Then when we put the stand-up paddle boards on the roof, I couldn't see the bicycle anymore. So then, and this is where it gets ugly, you're still dumping stuff on me. When we came home, I forgot the bicycle was on the roof. The bicycle smacked into the gutter and now it's like all dented. Yeah. I felt so bad for the bike when the bike went off. I love my bicycle. It's like you could hear the crunch and I looked in the rear view mirror and I just saw the bike bouncing on the gravel driveway. I just felt terrible for the bike. I don't know which way the water flows. I think it goes that way and it's supposed to go that way, but right now that way is downhill, which is... I think Lisa felt bad for the roof. Gap between what? The gutter and the gutter. Yeah, it would run right into it. And won't leak out from the open edge. You got it, you think? Oh, you did good. That's good. So not a bad job. Nothing that a little dap and just ramming the whole thing together won't fix. Let me tell you, this is not a YouTube handyman's channel. This is like the opposite of that. This is so pathetic and just upsetting that I would even do this in the first place. But I'm up here and I think we have something that'll get us through the rainstorm that seems to be on its way here. The one time our friend Phil Dillon got us backstage at the Grand Ole Opry. And while we were there, I remember seeing amazing performer Marty Stewart come walking in the room, full length, lavender cashmere jacket, sporting that silver mullet. And I remember telling Lisa and Phil that if there is a material definition of success, that's it. Like when you see me wearing that, you know that I think I've made it. Well. After this incident, that changes. The new definition of material success is a 20-foot garage. This is a very Tennessee way to think, but Lisa wants to fix it. It's not Tennessee. Most people around here would just leave it the way it is and string Christmas lights off. <laughs>